Hello, hello. Welcome back to this week's Aldi Taste Test. Yes, we're doing an official one this week. I know last week we did a little impromptu one in the haul, but this week we have a bunch of things to try. One being the mac and cheese pizza. Are you kidding me? It looks Ooh. so good. It <laughs> smells good too. I'm so excited. And a lot pizza. of you guys said that the mac and cheese pizza is delicious and Ooh. you can buy a couple and freeze them. So if we like it, we might go back and get some more. Um, but before we get into the taste test, if you guys would be so kind to give this video a thumbs up, help our videos get out there to the masses and support our channel. And of course, if you are not subscribed, make sure to check your little icon. Make sure you're subscribed so you're not missing out on all the new and seasonal items at Aldi, Trader Joe's, and even Costco sometimes. So let's get into this week's Aldi Taste Test. Tim really wants to dive into the pizza. I do. But it's a little hot, so I think we need to let it cool for a sec. So I think we should start off with the cheese curds. Okay, I'm fine with that. Because these look good too, so. These will yeah. lose heat quick, and I just air fried them. It is an interesting air fry. It says like three minutes, shake the air fryer basket, and then two more minutes. And they turned out pretty good. A little cheese squirted out. So I might have done it for maybe even like no, one that's, minute. No, that's how you know it's right at the right amount. When it just starts oozing out. You think so? Yeah, because otherwise it's not hot enough for the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those are bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I love these. I gave you all the big pieces. I know. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. They taste to me like uh, cheese sticks. Ooh, um, these are good. But I like the cheese that they chose. Whatever cheddar or whatever this is, mm. so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's interesting you said cheddar because I normally, like we've had cheese curds and it's usually white, right? It's like a white cheese. Um, I don't know. I think it's like a white squeaky cheese. This one actually looks very yellow. So it's like it's like a cheddar, but it doesn't taste like cheddar. Are you gonna eat that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. Oh my gosh! I I wish we had made more because those are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know they are really good. I feel like they're salty. They've got like a good texture. The breading yeah. is perfect. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. You bite into the cheese. The cheese has like um with squeakiness. Like I said, you can kind of taste it between your teeth. And all said and done, it was cooked perfect. You were right. It was. They were cooked yeah. perfect. And they taste amazing. So <laughs> if you like cheese, um, yes, this, this is This guy it. <laughs> does. <laughs> um, all right. So you think the I mac th and cheese pizza? Yes. Speaking Let's just cheese, cheese it up. I know. So yes, this is the take and bake macaroni and cheese deli pizza. Yep. Uh, which I think just means that it's fresh and not frozen. Yeah. Uh, but it looks good. It's got little macaronis on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wow. What? This tastes just like mac and what? cheese. What? <laughs> I am dead. You guys were all so right. This mm. is so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am I have to admit though, I love mac and cheese. Yeah. Like Benson's favorite foods, mac and cheese. I mean, <laughs> I am his mom and I feel like <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> um holy moly you guys if you have not tried this and you like mac and cheese it's a creamy sauce mm -hmm. the sauce itself tastes like the creamy part of mac and cheese it's cheddar cheese and then you get the noodles the noodles on here which kind of just like blend in did you taste any of your noodles oh, like the actual I, texture I, not really oh my gosh though it's so good um really thin crust so mm -hmm. the, there's not a whole lot that goes into like the the breadiness of it but the way that they were able to take mac and cheese mm -hmm. and put it into a form of a pizza and not have it be weird um that's it's that's so good that's a very precise thing that they they figured it out and they nailed it because that was that was really good and yes. it does taste like mac and cheese it tastes like mac and cheese and i did taste the noodles i had a bunch of bites with some noodles mm -hmm. on it and oh my gosh like i love i love it all and you're right the <laughs> crust is thin so it's a, it tastes like you're eating mac and cheese with like a little bit more of a bite to it. Cause you know, mac and cheese is the noodles are pretty soft Yeah. and you can chew it easily. This just gives you a little bit more chew, which is very pleasurable. I love this pizza. So everybody that talked about this and how good it was and they take some and they freeze them, 
yeah, you, you guys are onto something. I feel like we should grab a couple and freeze them because... I don't know, though. I feel like... I know they'll last longer, yeah. but there's something about these fresh pizzas I know. that they are just better. Well, and... if you've frozen one and you've reheated it, let us know if it is the exact same as fresh, if it's just slightly different, or if the texture gets weird because um, the frozen crystals can change the composition or whatever. Definitely. We would love to know because I think we're about to run out and buy another one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or two. Um, all right, do you want to try your shrimp? Yes, so I made some shrimp. Obviously, Katie's vegetarian, so she won't be trying this with me. But this shrimp is, uh, it's really exciting. So this is like a, a Cajun sea salt. Um, and what it comes with is the, the, the frozen shrimp with two little discs that have all of the seasoning. When you cook it on the stove, it comes out into this like little sauce. Not sure if you can see it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you know how it tastes. That sauce is pretty watery. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty watery. I think it's like from the, the ice, from the shrimp being frozen, mm. mixed together with the little disc thing. But yeah. um, you know what? Actually, it might not be. I think it might actually be like a the sauce, sauce itself. Yeah. yeah. I changed my mind on that. <laughs> but um, the flavor is really good. There's no spice, but it provides a nice flavor. Um, what I would compare this flavor to would be like... You know, like when you have ground beef and there's like seasoning packets that you add to the ground beef when you're cooking it, it seems like that type of like the actual packet itself, like the flavor, uh, really good. I wouldn't say that there's like a saltiness, even though it's sea salt. Um, it just it, it's probably in there and it enhance it it enhances the flavor that's already there. Um, I would say that this would go really well with tacos, yeah, uh, and burritos for sure. Um, anything that has a little bit of more of like a, a southern flavor to it, again, it's not spicy, but it has like the spice, spicings, like spice flavors to it. And really good. Spicings? So, is that a new word you mentioned? Yeah, I just made it up. Hashtag <laughs> spicings. Um, <laughs> it's, it's delicious though. I really like this and I love shrimp. So, mm -hmm. um, it, they're, they're big too. They're not small. They're, they're a nice hearty sized shrimp. So I think it's definitely worth picking up for sure. Nice. So Tim's on a roll here because he just had a shrimp and then he's also going to try the chimichanga burrito. Yes. So I microwave. This is a beef and cheese chimichanga and uh, I made it real hot. So <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and dive right into it because we got to move on to the sweets. Yeah, you know? we do have to move on to the sweets. Okay. I will say it's okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. Um, it's a frozen burrito. It's exactly what you would expect. Now, the one thing that I thought was really weird is that when I made this uh, burrito, it actually calls for you to microwave it in the, in the like plastic wrapper. Yeah. Um, at first I thought that was weird. Like, is this going to be safe? Whatever. I said, screw it. I did it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what I noticed is that it actually, a lot of times when you microwave burritos, they're not even. Yeah. And I think it actually holds in the heat and kept it pretty that makes even. Sense. So, um, so you want to throw a shrimp in there? I would. I just <laughs> ate them all though. <laughs> I think it would be a lot better if you threw a shrimp in this chimichanga game changer, <laughs> but the, the chimichanga alone, uh, if you need to grab something on the go, uh, they're cheap, they're easy to make and, um, they'll, they'll fill you up pretty decently. But, uh, as regards to the flavor, it's beef and cheese. I don't see a whole lot of beef, uh, a lot of beans in there. Mm. And uh, it's just it's a it's a microwave burrito, so yeah, um, nothing much else to say about it. Okay, well that's fair. We're gonna move on to some sweets now because it is time. So yes. the first thing we're gonna try is the milk chocolate bunnies with yogurt raspberry flavored cream filling. These are what I'm so excited to dig into because raspberry. You love raspberry. Love that's raspberry. For sure. Ooh, I can already smell it just opening this thing. They really don't want people getting into these chocolates, let me just say. <laughs> Ooh, okay. One bunny for you, one bunny for me. How cute. Little cute bun buns. <laughs> How do they taste? There we go. Let's find out. You bite the ears off or the butt? I bit the ears off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Pink inside. Hmm. What do you think, hon? I don't know, I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking too, because it's really sweet. I like the raspberry flavor, but I, 
I also get a, a little bit of like a synthetic flavor to it. So raspberry is very touchy. If you can do raspberry right and have it taste natural, mm -hmm. amazing. But if you try to cut corners and add preservatives and chemicals to enhance and make it taste like raspberry, it takes away. And I think this might be the latter. Yeah. You know, I think what's throwing me off is it's the yogurt mixed with the raspberry. Oh. Uh, so. Maybe. Yogurt and raspberry is fine together, but when there's chocolate involved, I'm used to the cream being different. You know what I mean? Like. Maybe it makes it healthier too, having it be a yogurt mixture. So I was just reading the back and it's actually made with um, yogurt powder and also raspberry powder. So they mix the powders into something and, mm. and that's, yeah. So I think yeah. I'm, I'm with Tim. It's just for me, it's just not, the flavors aren't matching up. Um, not to say that it's, bad it's just different and i just don't think that the flavors all meld together appropriately i think the yogurt is just throwing it off because the yogurt has a little bit of a tang and then there's like a lot of sweetness and then the raspberry is tart so it's just kind of a lot of flavors i think and it they just don't all meld well together it's my opinion i i think you're right yeah yeah and, and i think that synthetic flavor that i might have been tasting uh might be the yogurt yeah the yogurt combo mm -hmm. and the fact that it's like powdered um, yeah, it, it has an interesting aftertaste. Like I'm yeah. still tasting it, and it does taste like I just just ate a yogurt cup, like a cup you, of yogurt. You're right, and it it's interesting. So, I, I again don't hate them, don't love them. Would I buy them again? No, I would look for something that does not have a yogurt mixed with raspberry, and that's yeah. you know some people might absolutely love these because they like that flavor combination, but. Me personally, I just, it's not for me. And and they are good. They are sweet. Mm -hmm. um, but we're critical on this channel, right? We're honest and we're going to tell you how we think uh, for real. And so I agree. I think probably worth trying, worth picking up the, the one time that we did, but we will not probably get that again. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to something that I am confident <laughs> I is going to be good. <laughs> um, and that, of course, is the peanut butter bunnies. Yeah. So we had raspberry, which is your favorite, yep. and now we're going chocolate and peanut butter, which is my favorite. And I wanted to say, while Tim's opening those, they do have other flavors of these that do not have yogurt. So um, I kind of knew something was going to be different because it said yogurt on here. So these are basic peanut butter chocolate bunnies. Yes. So let's see which one's cuter. <clears throat> Aw, I liked the other one because it had a cute pink bow on it. Yeah. <laughs> These are cute though. They look like the bunny's just laying down. Alright, I'm gonna bite his head off. Mmm. <sighs> oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Oh yeah. Are these the same company? They are the same company mm -hmm. that makes both of these. I definitely enjoy these. Yeah. Peanut butter chocolate bunnies. And um we have bought these before, so. Yeah. The peanut butter yeah. is just so creamy. The chocolate has like a thick coating, so you really have to bite into it, but mm. like I think we've said before, the mixture and the um, ratio of chocolate to peanut butter, spot on. Spot on, perfect ratio, creamy peanut butter, the chocolate, it's a thicker casing, like I said, delicious. They yeah, really are. They are. These would be perfect, um, Easter egg stuffers too. If you hide eggs for your kids or oh, nieces, yeah. nephews, for sure. those would be great as long as it's not too hot and they melt. But that's it. This is the video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We definitely enjoyed the mac and cheese pizza. I'll tell you yeah. what, that was delicious. <laughs> that was the best. Um, stay tuned for next week because next week has a lot of good stuff. So if you aren't subscribed, click the subscribe. Get, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, we're very sorry. We, we tried to make it entertaining for you. But they still lasted this long, so they kind of they had to like it a little <laughs> that's bit. That's <laughs> true. Um, but thank you guys so much for all your support, and we are excited to see you in the next video. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!